When I was going through a, a moment of, of a kind of developmental crisis and, and challenge, um, I was a teenager. We'd come from Bountiful back to Provo, um, and I was just starting high school, and it kind of broke my confidence, and all of a sudden, my athletic dreams, my social dreams, my academic dreams just seemed to be going out the door. And um, I remember, as long as I live, I could just see the scene, sitting on the edge of my bed, just depressed. And, um, and my mom came in, and it was uh, uh, time for bed, and um, uh, she sat there and asked me what was going on, and we talked, and I opened up and told her all the things that I hated about my new life. And she grabbed the scriptures that were at the edge of my bed, in part because she and, and the, the two of you had taught me to read my scriptures, but they were there, but I don't, I don't know how much they really meant to me at that point. And, and uh, she said, Matthew, I want to read you a scripture. And uh, she turned open to Matthew uh, chapter 6, and she prefaced it looked at me and said, I know you want friends, and I know you want to do well in school, and I know you want to do great in athletics, but remember this verse. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And you looked at me, and you promised me that Life would work out. But just remember, as important as school is and friends and athletics, it's not as important as the kingdom of God. And put that first in your life, and all the other things in your life will need to will fall into place. Now, that was a turning point in my life. I don't know that I was necessarily set to go off the deep end, but my life was sort of here. And in one night, it went there because of that exchange with a mother. And it wasn't just an exchange with a mother because as my mother was testifying to me of it, my father was living it. I think one of the beautiful things that mom did, people ask me, and I'm sure you sometimes, how did your parents help you gain testimonies, how have they kept your family strong in the gospel. And, and both of you have done it in, in, in different ways that complement each other perfectly, but one of mom's strengths in particular has been, and Matt just perfectly illustrated it through scripture, has been in helping us find our own answers from God. And I'm eternally grateful for that. I mean, they make it sound like I'm super woman, I'm not. As Matt quoted that scripture, my mother quoted that to me. And I and they also taught me the gospel and to put the kingdom first. I had that faith given to me by my mother. And that's how we got through.